I think I'm really happy with my marriage because I just choose the right person. That's it. And I think it's right because we discussed one thing. We will never have our kids, like naturally. Maybe adoption. Adoption is okay. It's okay. And I have two reasons. Firstly, my wife is one and a half meter tall. So basically, I don't have enough wife. to have kids. I need more wife to... You know, I can run out of wife during a childbirth and I don't want to. This person can give a birth to a potato. It, maximum, maximum capacity. <laughs> Preferably mashed potato, it, best. Which sounds more like abortion, but that's the point. I, I, I don't want it. And the next thing, I think people are so obsessed with natural way to have a baby. Like it's our baby. It's a responsible decision. It's an adult decision. But I think adoption is an adult decision, responsible decision. <laughs> and that's why. Because I don't know any couples who adopted a kid accidentally <laughs> while being drunk. <laughs> you know, like... <laughs> and I like, the next morning, like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> They thought we were ordering a scooter. <laughs> And I think, I think young parents are crazy, crazy about the kid. Like, what will be, what happen, what will happen with him, with his career? And some of them trying to make his career like the second chance of your career. I have a friend and he has a kid. And my friend's career in football just sucks. It, nothing happens. And he thinking like he will be a good, football player. And I think, do you know about genetics? <laughs> when he will start to play, you will just know, yeah, that's my kid, yeah, for sure. He just laying on the grass and crying, yeah. <laughs> that's how I ended. I'm trying to improve my English. We decided with my wife that we need more practice. And we need to speak sometimes at home in English. And we started to talk less. <laughs> Which is not bad. Which is, I love learning languages. <laughs> yeah, I really love. I really love learning languages. I learned Latin in school. At school, yeah, I'm proving. Ah, <laughs> I learned Latin at school for three years. Useless, but at that point it was great because it turns out that my classmates were dumb, really dumb, because some of them were really happy, like, yeah, Latin, let's go to Mexico, yay. <laughs> Hate them. <laughs> and I, I think I need to learn Turkish. I think it's time, half of a year. <laughs> because Google Translate sucks. <laughs> Never use it, especially Russians, please. Because I tried to translate from Russian to Turkish. You need to check what you got. <laughs> now I'm translating from English to Turkish and back to know that I, I, I'm saying appropriate things. Because for the first month being in Turkey, I tried to speak with my landlord with Google Translate and I was that close to be homeless. <laughs> Because what I said was, I will come in an hour and you will give me the money for rent. <laughs> I'll be at your house, I remember where you live. Eh? Your Russian friend. Hello. I, I will learn Turkish, but not too fast. Because it's a good thing not to know, because you will never be insulted in a language you don't know. It's impossible. I have a neighbor 
And he yelled at me recently, like, five minutes in a row, really, really angry. I, I didn't get a word. Just, just nothing. I was just, okay, tamam, tamam, yeah, tamam. Çok güzel, çok, uh, görüşürüz, görüşürüz. We are friends now, great. <laughs> I know, I now have life hack. If you go in on vacation, never read the reviews about the hotel. That's what I'm doing, like, every time. Never read. Read them in the hotel. <laughs> like, just to check. Yeah, it's shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I see. Because most of the reviews are irrelevant. They're useless. For the, for the last time, I was in a hotel, and that is a review. Couple in the room next door every night. Very loud, two stars. Firstly, not one star, yeah? It was a bit fun. <laughs> Annoying, but fun. Second, second one. Is it about the hotel? Will it help my vacation? It's a review from 2018. Are they still there? Still f every night and ruin my vacation. I was so angry, so I made a review. I replied, they are still here. Maybe we need to call the police. Woman became silent. Yeah? Figure this out by yourself. And I love doing that. It's a good way to make a bad review. Because now you know, yeah, what's happening. So now I'm making two reviews from two different accounts to make a story. For example, last time, no one in the hotel is friendly. I'm wandering around alone. And the next review from different account. There is a creepy guy walking alone. Yeah? completely naked, yeah? <laughs> it's a good story. 